Hey man, how's it going, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Y'all ain't y'all ain't trying to talk with D? Because he looking a little alright today. We gonna do a D mukbang, man. We gonna talk to D. We gonna talk to Big D, alright? Let me talk to y'all about something, right? Now, I hope this camera stays on point because I upgraded my camera. So, no matter what I do, my head is supposed to be on, motherfucker. And y'all gonna see every lip movement. <sighs> now, when I duck down for this food, that's a different story. So, let's talk. Mm. This is a topic I wanted to talk about because people are posting it online. And somebody hit me up. All right. To the girl that posted this, she know who she is because we supposed to have this debate. But there's so many people at our work field and get in their feelings, they'll start crying and shit. I don't have time for that. She said, our black men don't support or love our black women. Now, she didn't say it. She just shared the post but then had a little agreement to it. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about it. Because we love our black women. We can't help that some of them marry white women. We can't help that some of us like exotic women. There's nothing wrong with black women. It's not our fault that, you know, black men, you know, we're like the, the cream of the crop. Because you can find exotic men. We got the little glowy eyes and shit. But it's just not the same as that chocolate skin. Hey. I don't know, but guess what? Some women actually like and prefer white men, Russian men, or something. There's nothing wrong with having a preference. <clears throat> you can't tell us that we don't love our black women. But let me tell you something about a few, a very small, no, a very marginal amount of black women nowadays, right? Now, this don't include everybody because y'all get in y'all feelings, like, this is y'all, but some of y'all know it's you, so you catch an attitude. If this is you, then I'm talking to you. Y'all don't appreciate black men. You don't even understand what it takes to be a black woman. You're still a black girl. You're a girl. You're a little girl. Okay? Now, men ask for simple things. Let me tell you some of the simple things we ask for. A nice, clean house. Some food on the table. Some ass up in the air. Yes, I'm going to keep it real with you. Some ass up in the air. Some little freaky things. Let's try something new. Let's go a little crazy. But no. Women say, I got class and standards and needs that need to be met. And blah, 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 blah. Now, we understand that you need the needs and all that. But most of the stuff y'all be saying be straight bullshit. Right? So, we're supposed to put up with the fact that you don't clean no more. Because why? Because it takes two. We can both do it. Now, we both can do it. Some of you want to sit at home and not do anything. Some of you want to sit at home while we work and we got to clean. I got to clean, but you're at home, but you're at home. Oh, but if I work, no, no, you got to understand even if you work. Because, you know, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Light work? Light work? Huh? A little light work? What, are you picking up like two pounds or something or something? Now, the ones that's doing heavy work, I'm not judging you. You know, that's different. But guess what? There's women out here that are single. That are working, cleaning, they get a man, they start being afraid. They start doing all types of things. So I don't be wanting to hear that excuse. And a lot of men don't want to hear that excuse when they come off of a 12-hour shift. That you can't do it. And that I should do it. Do you know what men got to put up with at work? You think it's easy at work? Because we make it look easy? Because we come in with a little sign and we are? We men. It's just what we do. We got to deal with... With so much shit at work, that is crazy. You got to put up with bosses that are dumber than you. Telling you what to do every day. But they so fucking dumb. They just tell you to do something because they know you know what to do. They don't even know what the fuck they talking about. You got to deal with bitch ass niggas. That are always in your face. Complaining, talking heavy shit, bragging with friends. It's like high school all over again but more bitchier niggas. Because it's not the same. They got to have a work persona. Do you know how hard it is for a guy that has a family that are trying to change their life around? For some lame dudes to keep talking out of their mouth about crazy shit all day. Acting like they something special. 
You got to deal with this because you got to pay and keep the family intact. We come home after hearing a bitch nigga mouth to come hear your mouth. It's hard. You can't do that. Is it hard to be quiet? Is it really hard to be quiet? Is it hard to have some food on the table? It kills me when women say they can't do this. But they want us to understand and love them. Let me tell you something. Let's, and we go and keep it a hundred here. You could, you don't have to like this, okay? But this is only for a margin of people. Remember, if this ain't about you, stop crying. Get out of your feelings. Because you can say niggas ain't shit, but I don't give a fuck about none of that. You could post that for a million years. That ain't even going to offend me because you bitches ain't shit. But it's all about who it belongs to and who it retains to, whatever the fuck you say. A white woman. Yes, a white woman. Not all of them. Oh, I mean, because you know it's some bad ones out here. You know it's some bad ones out here. But it's just the, the scenario with every race. It's that good and the bad. But we're going to talk about the good margin of white women that'll pick a, a, a dude up, right? That's struggling. Doing bad. I mean, this nigga bad. Like, he ain't even got no job. Help this man get a job. Make a resume. Talk to a family about helping this man get a job. Give you a place to stay. Cook you food. Spoil you. All types of shit. And they do some freaky shit too. I mean, it's crazy. And not saying that they're the only ones. I'm naming scenarios here where this has happened to people. Where they got spoiled. And they like, i never been treated like this before. Like a black king. Regardless of your reputation. You ain't got no tax. You ain't got no grills. Oh, yeah, he ain't selling no drugs. I ain't with him. They don't worry about that. Now, like I said, there's some black women that think like that too. That's fine. I understand that. We're going off of scenarios. Let me give you a black woman scenario, right? This is ones that I experienced. Damn, he ain't got enough tax. He ain't got no goals in his mouth. I think I just said that, but I want you to understand. This is literally what they say. I need a nigga with some tax, some gold, selling drugs on the street. You know, with that gangster look. Then get treated like shit. Then get dumped to the side. And guess what they say? Niggas ain't shit. You're dealing with a no shit ass nigga. What are you talking about? You haven't even tried the other side. Why? Because the other side is a square to you. Well, my beard in the way. The other side is a square to you. So you're not interested in squares. You're interested in being treated like shit. But then you look at a good black man that's out there. The one that you rejected, by the way. These are some men that most of these bitches rejected. They kept turning them down over and over and over and over. And they tried to come in respectfully, romantically. You know, you're very beautiful. I really appreciate you. Clown is what they say. Then you find a woman that treats you the same way. Yo, you're beautiful. Well, you're very handsome to me. Like, they, they fall in love, man. When a man gets spoiled by a woman in a certain way, it changes them. It changes them. They fall in love. You think that it's impossible to make a man fall in love without cheating. If a woman literally does the right, this, this different men have different things. That one thing that'll make them change everything. Make them want to settle down and get married. <clears throat> now, do you have this? Let me let me tell you. For one, being quiet and supporting your man is key. Everybody keeps saying they're the perfect woman and that they got cheated on because they were just so perfect. No, I'm telling you now, there's no one that just literally, literally cheats for no reason. There is no way a man is going to cheat on a perfect woman. You can make up all the excuses you want. I'm not perfect. So if I get cheated on right now, I would understand. There are some things that I lack. We are not perfect as humans. Okay. So you can cut that crap talking about, oh, you was the perfect woman in his life and he just cheated on you. You're not doing something just like we're not doing something. But men take the initiative to go out there and do something wrong, which is cheat. Is it bad? Yes. But the goal in life is for us to be happy. Not to sit there and deal with some bullshit just because you feel like, oh, I, I got to do this. Well, maybe you should break up with them first before you do it. Sometimes you got to take a gamble. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand. You got to take a gamble. You don't even know if this is going to be worth it. Why break up if you don't even know what this is going to lead to? 
Nobody think outside the box because we live in this thing where loyalty, loyalty. You, you got to break up and then you break up. And that bitch turned into a psycho. And this one didn't want you. She just wanted some dick or just wanted some conversation. Now you got a psycho chasing you over something that never happened. Just because you talked and you wanted to try to break up with her first before you went to the next one. And you don't know. Maybe the one that you broke up with changes. Turns into the, the, the woman that you wanted. You never know. Not encouraging cheating though. I'm just saying. But back on the topic. Black men love their black women. We do. We do. Do they love us, though? I want to do a test for y'all, but I can't do that because I'll die. My girl would kill me, so I can't do that for y'all. But I would like to say that if I was to hit 20 black women up right now, even if I was single, and said, hey, would you like to go on a date with me sometime? Because I've been seeing your profile pictures and I know I haven't seen you in person, but you are very beautiful. And I would like to get to know you a little better, you know, if it wouldn't hurt, you know, or we could just start off by texting or something, you know, but I really want to take you out. I guarantee you none of them bitches would answer that phone. But hey, guess what? They post a picture. Somebody say, damn that ass fat girl. Damn, I'm trying to get to know you. Now, they're going to ignore a couple of them, right? They're going to ignore a couple of them. They're going to check the picture first. They're going to go through their little profile and shit. I bet you they get picked first. I bet you they get picked first. I bet you a hundred dollars that they would get picked before a guy that come in there talking nice and romantic and lovely. You know? So I'm trying to understand why are you judging men that went to the white women? You don't know their backstory or why they went that way. You don't know why they ended up preferring that. The same way niggas fuck it up for other niggas and messed up y'all personalities to the point where you think everybody cheating or something. It's the same way a black woman messed up that person's vision of a perfect black woman. They just assume that all of them are crazy. And here in Baltimore, I mean, there's some truth to that. So I ain't even, I mean, I'm speaking from experience. I don't care what you say. It's a big ass majority. And seeing as I got like, what, 3,000, 2,000 friends. I don't know how many friends I got on Facebook. All of y'all posts are fucking crazy. I know y'all crazy. The dumb shit that y'all post when y'all in relationships is ridiculous, man. You're in a relationship. Hit me up. Hit my DM. And all this dumb shit. He leave you for a white girl who don't post at all. Post pictures of a family. Pictures of him. Saying I dream of this man every night. Damn, why he, why he pick her? You don't know what you are lacking. You are not taking the time to figure yourself out. Figure yourself out, man. We all got to figure ourselves out. Yeah, black men too. We got to get ourselves together. We try doing it. But guess what? Without peace of mind and somebody getting on your nerves all day long, never shut up, always worry, you don't even have time to think. So when you do escape, it's like you just escape from being choked and you want a breath of fresh air. For some people, that fresh air is another woman. And sometimes that one woman knows your man's weaknesses because they are there when women break men down. No, oh, you can't break a man down, you know. We ain't got no feelings. We got feelings, nigga. Now, we ain't crying. Some of us ain't crying. I, I hope you ain't crying. Yo, you crying? Yo, you all right? Yo, you good, bro? I'll give you a hug, bro. But look. <clears throat> we hurt, too. And sometimes women know that weak point to break a man down. And then when they leave and that one woman building them up, man, I'm telling you, it's the same as when women cheat. Because a man built her up, showed the care, compassion, showed her another side to life she ain't used to. It works both ways. Stop trying to bring the black men down. We're not trying to bring the black queens down because there are some black queens out there right now spoiling their man. Okay? We love our black women. Nothing wrong. But some of them got to get their shit together. Some of y'all got to stop rejecting your black men. Alright? Nigga, you want somebody with some racks in their pocket and shit all the time. But what do you offer? I'm going to give them unlimited head. Bitch, all bitches can do that. For free. I don't have to give them no house. 
I don't have to give them a car. Your little unlimited head from one person ain't special to me. I don't care how good you is at it. There's 50 other people that could probably do it better for $10. So y'all got to stop saying you could just offer some sex. That's useless. And then you say, why do a man want a woman to make money? You want them to invest in their self, especially depending on what area you're living in, because you're going to end up getting hurt. There's a chance that you could get hurt. Okay? You don't know, but there's a chance of you dying. Just the reality of it. And then they relied on you so much they can't do shit. So then they got to rely on another nigga. And that nigga might be an abuser with money. Now she's getting abused and shit and thinking it's okay because he's taking care of me. And that's what happens. They get stuck in a relationship just due to the standards of what they're in. Because they wasn't raised to be independent. Because sometimes their mother even tell them to find somebody that's going to take care of them. You are a strong woman. Have your own. We're supposed to spoil you. As in give you extra things that you want. You know? Gives us a little freedom of our money, too, so we could live, too, you know? But they want somebody with the racks on deck and, and the tattoos. I don't even understand what, what, what's up with it. I know the tattoo is like a design or something, but to have to have a tattoo to talk to you, it damaged my skin, probably messed up my skin. Probably the tattoo come out ugly. Maybe I don't even want the tattoo no more. But just to talk to you, I need a tattoo. I need tattoos. I need a whole sleeve. What the fuck are you chasing? Like, I, I don't understand that, man. That's crazy. Now, if you get a man and you want him to get... It, once y'all establish a relationship and you're firm, and you feel, feel feel like he'll look sexier with a tattoo, that makes sense, you know? Understandable. You're trying to customize your man the same way we try to customize our women, you know? Just customization, you know? Spice it up. Keep things going. That's another thing. When y'all get in a relationship, y'all motherfuckers get lazy. Oh, I shouldn't have to look good. And nobody said be on fleek all the time. But shit, if you get on fleek all the time, god damn. You know what I mean? And see, that's, that's that's great. But take initiative in your looks. Us men fail to do that too. But we try sometimes. I know I try. But I haven't cut my hair. I look rough. So I can't say that we're perfect at doing that either. Okay? Still, if you're looking for that perfect person, you got to be able to change along with them. You got to be able to talk to them and build them up. Build your king. Nobody said build them from scratch if you don't want to. But focus on building, not arguing. If you come across an issue, really talk about it without all the yelling. Talk. Like, what's going on? You know, we can change this. Let's work on it. You know, let's figure this out. Is this meant for us? And be easy about breaking up. It's okay to break up. This is what I don't understand also. You have a kid with somebody and y'all think y'all got to burn clothes and shit because they, you, you, you're getting broke up with. Now you're hating. How come you can't build an empire? All right, we're both not happy or you wasn't happy, so I'm not doing my job and I can't do it because if you tell me what I need to do to change and I can't do it, then we should come to an agreement to go talk to other people. Simple. You got a kid? Both of y'all focus on the kid and be even with it if y'all both good parents. There should be no discussion in court about your kids. You know, split up the thing. Don't argue. Why do we got to argue? I don't understand that. Women get personal. I know men sometimes get personal. Then if they ain't getting sex, they don't want to take care of their kid. I don't understand that either. If you wanted to break up, I don't know. Men do the same thing. So like I said, this works both ways. Because I know there's a story out there where they will not get ass and they will not take care of their kid. That is pathetic. Okay? I don't need your ass to take care of my kid. Okay? Just like I hope you ain't worried about what ass I'm getting to take care of my kid. If we have an understanding about how we raising our kid in a good environment and we're not going to raise them around a bunch of females in their face and a bunch of niggas in their face, then we have a good understanding. We wouldn't be doing that. Do that on our own spare time. When when I get the daughter, you go go crazy. You go do what you want. When I get the daughter, or when you get the daughter, I will go crazy. That's how it would work. You know? Now, I hope this kind of answered y'all question, because this is a long-ass video. All right, so, basically, we love our black women. But there's so many issues that we got to address and deal with, with each other, on both sides. Okay? Now, if you found this a little informative, hit me up with some other ideas to talk about, man, because this is about to hit 20 minutes and I'm trying to hurry up and cut it off. 
So hit me up if you have any ideas. I'm going to cut this off.